both of them triple digit earners of course just absurd amounts of money uh, earned by both of these players six digits sorry yeah triple times two is six <laughs> what is what's the se sex tuple i don't know i just go with six there's what septuple sex tuple Octuple's eight. I mean, sextuple is like six of the same thing. Okay. So if they had like well, all six fives, six digits. Yeah, but if he was like a five hundred thousand, yeah, uh, yeah okay. five hundred fifty-five thousand, five hundred fifty-five earnings player, that would be a sextuple digit player. Well, for now, don't have to worry about those numbers. As Boomy and Sansa, I'm gonna get right on into game number one. Seeing more orbs come out, the Petra versus the Fate. Now, if we see the more decks come out, this is going to be kind of looking like what we saw at low tier city, uh, the LAN in 2019. Now, the, the skins might be a little bit different because we didn't have this uh, Petra skin that Boomy could have used back then. That was like right on Petra's release when she was first tournament legal. But I, did we see Sandstorm play Fate that set? I can't even remember. I think it was mostly the more decks. Why does he Yeah, I want to say though? it was predominantly more decks yeah. in that one. Did Fate even exist in that one? Which one came first, Fate or Petra? Uh, Fate came first. Um, I know it was Dusk and then... Wait, maybe not. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, Boomy. Boomy gonna get the first stock off of Sandstorm, able to connect with the recovery. Sandstorm with a nice side light. Could see a gravity cancel D light. Yep, that'll be the stock going the way of Sandstorm to even it up. No, it, Fate definitely came first. Because Fate was played at, like, uh, final round 2019. That makes sense. Ooh, going for the up toss. That's a very rare option coming out of that side signature. Most people don't actually know that you can active input that one. Uh, because usually most people are going to go for the stage control going for that forward push. But instead, Boomy went for the up toss with that attempt to the follow-up recovery. I love seeing people do things that are un. Like coming out from Boomy, wanting to maintain stage control, not see him go too hard off stage. Just punishing those recoveries back onto the stage with his neutral lights. See will do it again. Goes for the D light. Isn't able to find the neutral air. Going real deep. A Boomy classic there. Going real deep. Going off screen and still able to get back. Somehow Boomy has more jumps than the average Brahala player. Uh, able to attempt to get that recovery, but couldn't quite find it. Back. And of course, Sandstorm was ready for it, but not ready for the side air. Second stock goes the way of Boomy, but Sandstorm has the opportunity. There's quite a bit of damage built up on the Boomy. Toss goes out. Boomy's going to pick up another orb, giving Sandstorm weapon starve. The D-Light, even with the gravity cancel neutral heavy, a shade of its former self, not going to be able to knock out here. And it is still the more optimal force option uh, over the recovery, but unfortunately just not quite as much force. There's the side light side air from Sandstorm, and that is going to be the stock even or a little bit of damage in the way of Boomy, and at the rate that this game is going, it will be Boomy who goes home with the dub, unless Sandstorm can do something big. Dodgers coming out at basically the same time. Neutral light. It's going to be that first hit that we've seen in a little bit. There's the down air and the clash coming out. No real momentum that either player is able to wrestle into their favor. Side air from Boomy. Sandstorm in the orange over on the corner. Dare. What a beautifully placed dare that was. Find a lot after it. Here's the down sig attempt. There's the dare again, and Sandstorm's going to fall. Boomy takes game number one. Going to be 544 damage to 466. So definitely damage in favor of Boomy there. And that's definitely uh, to be thought of going at the end of last game as Boomy had a huge damage lead towards the end of that game. Yeah, he was doing very well for himself uh, at the very end of that. But uh, here we go into game number two. No character swaps from Sandstorm just yet. You're going to be seeing more Garnet versus Fate in game number two. I do appreciate that Sandstorm is coming in with the Butterscotch sidekick. Like, Fate has to ride in on the yeah. Butterscotch. Definitely a cute sidekick for any character to play, but of course, if you're playing Fate, I think you're exactly right. It should be all but required. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of disrespectful if you don't. I think Garnet might be one of the cleanest skins in the entire game. Yo, I love the, the fist effects. 
Ooh, orb versus orb. Sandstorm starting to get the better of Umi. Umi with a Yo. good dodge through that down air, and two down airs means Boomy gets the first stock. The Boomy with the default sight? Hello? <laughs> Side light, down light. I like the mix up. Trying to see how Sandstorm's going to react. Side light, down light again. Sandstorm dodging up. We'll be playing it low on that wall. Sandstorm expecting him to maybe go high with that neutral signature. That could have been just a bait, though. Yeah. Grabs the dare, punishing Boomy's dare. The side air, not sending Boomy off screen just yet. But if he was any closer to the right when he hit that side air, it would. That side air is going to be just a little bit closer, and it KOs. At a minute 15 into this game, Boomy in the lead, able to basically freely grab that weapon from Sandstorm. You saw him playing around a little bit on that soft platform, high into the right. Ooh, Ooh. nice strength potential there. Sandstorm ended up going low, so he didn't get hit by the recovery, but there's the D-Light recovery. Boomy with a huge lead here. Dang, that was huge. That was like six hits, and Boomy took Sandstorm from like orange to death. Really big gauntlet plays coming out from Boomy. Chase up. Off that down light, but Sandstorm getting the turnaround. Boomy running out of jumps, does still find the wall touch. Sandstorm gonna control this corner, hits the ground pound. Boomy needs to fight his way back up. Sandstorm's gonna get the stock. Was that a DI sideways off the second down air? Still not enough. Boomy, unfortunately gonna fall and that's gonna put down to final stocks. Oh, the gravity cancel neutral signature. Boomy went for the big play there. Sandstorm starting his recovery low, but then quickly moving back onto the main platform. Throwing out his old side for a new one. Side signature comes out from Boomy. Still in the lead here. Definitely in the power position. Pulling out of that ground pound. Didn't want to go too far. He expected maybe a nair to come out from Sandstorm. Sandstorm's finding the damage. Nice little weapon toss. He disarms Ooh. himself. Down light recovery. Sandstorm. Really hard for Boomy to get back over to that right weapon. Boomy dodges through, sticks around on that wall instead of immediate disengage. Ooh. Does find the orb pickup, but the damage is being done. This could go either direction, but Sandstorm with the advantage, still denying wall touches. Boomy barely makes it back. How is he going to recover back to the main platform? The strong D-Light is enough, and Sandstorm takes game two. <laughs> Look at the cat! <laughs> It's adorable. It's so cute. Oh man, that la that last game was borderline lost off the back of Boomy not being able to get a weapon, being disarmed and then stuck trying to find his way onto the stage was so incredibly rough. We're seeing Sandstorm recognize, you know what? A lot of that win was off of the site, so why not switch to a site that he is more familiar with? Going into the Mordex, not quite the Mordex skin that he's known for though. This is kind of the one that he's been playing more recently, though, or he's at least been using those gauntlets. Oh, my Holy God. Holy cow. Good movement. This is just going to be really fun to watch. Regardless of the yeah. outcome, seeing two no very good gauntlet players going at it is going to be a privilege to see. Yo, that, the, like, if you rewind, like, 20 seconds, the offstage, like, footsies around each other with the gauntlets in both of their hands threatening those neutral layers was like incredibly intense for an entire moment where neither of them did a thing. Because yeah, you have two players who will want to go in off stage, and then two players who are that skilled that they feel comfortable going in off stage on each other. This is going to be uh, something else for sure. Sandstorm with the gauntlets in hand needs to find the stock off of Boomy. Tries to go for the double side light, but Boomy able to avoid it. Big side air will be enough, and Sandstorm going to switch over to the side. Dodge through from Sandstorm. Very slight damage lead in the way of Boomy, and suddenly everything slows down. They just kind of sit on their sides of the stage before Sandstorm starts going in. Nair into the recovery. Boomy looking for the third hit with the side air. Almost was perfectly on the mark for it. Now 
playing on that soft platform, using that extended grab range to re-pick up his weapon, even though he wasn't stacked right on top of it. Finishing with, with the side air. Oh! That's a recovery. That D-Light pickup was huge. Let's run over to the side. Not finding the connection, but does find the neutral light. And down signature attempted from Boomy. He has not been finding any hits with that. Falls down oh. to avoid the down air, and that's a stock. Just the threat of the down air from Sandstorm, and Boomy's gonna fall. He's unarmed, but in the weapon spawn comes to the left side. Sandstorm not able to keep Boomy weapon star for too long, like we saw him effectively do last game. It's the hit off the recovery and the nair and the oh my, he's still oh. going. Dodge through. Side air turnaround from Boomy, but he took multiple hits from that scythe. The weapon spot coming in. Boomy not able to guard it though for really too long. Sandstorm's able to grab it from even below the soft platform. Whoa. How does he cover the dunk with the neutral light so fast? It's like that sink doesn't have any recovery on it. Well, that neutral light has next to no startup. Five frames of startup makes it super quick. Boomy. I think if he didn't spot dodge, like if he had just been confident in his spacing, he might have been able to get the punish, but either way. Them now on their final stocks in game number three. Oh, there it is. Sidelight into recovery. He was being so careful on when he wanted to actually follow up. He wasn't throwing out the recoveries like super early. Like he hit a sidelight and he didn't immediately try to go for the follow up. He just went back to the main platform and waited. He did that like two or three more times before finally going in off of that soft platform and getting the KO. Three, two, one, All about mixing it up, changing up that timing on Boomy as well as just changing up how you react out of things. Sandstorm with a sidelight on the wake up on the Boomy and Boomy not having that same momentum he had earlier. Woo! Some good chasing from Boomy. Gets on the stage and Sandstorm can't get the wall touch. Complete denial from Boomy. Get it? He's on. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't talk, we don't talk about <laughs> we don't, that. We don't, we don't talk about that one. <laughs> he was on Redacted. That's what he was on. Yeah, yeah there you go. Sidelight downlight from Boomy. Starting to see how Sandstorm's going to react out of this one now. Punishes that double chase dodge coming out. Sandstorm and Boomy both on the edge. Neutral air, active input, sending closer to the blast zone. Even gets the side air. Was looking a little bit hairy over there. Punish. Optical damage. Sandstorm with the wake up still gets the stock, though. Every game's important, but this is extremely yeah. important as Sandstorm already has two victories in this best of five. Boomy needs to win here to take this to game number five to potentially get into the grand finals. Otherwise, Sandstorm gonna earn that spot. Guaranteed top two finish. Hits the side signature on the back of Boomy. Complete weapon control from Sandstorm. And Boomy's stuck on this left side wall. It's up, avoids the down signature, but still. Weapons are in favor of Sandstorm. He's done such a great job of wrestling this game back. It wasn't immediately with the side signature from Boomy. Gets the neutral sink somehow, didn't kill off the top. Down like ground pound coming out from Boomy. Might have been a miss input. Usually you go for the recovery, but he still finds the side light side air. Oh no! Oh, okay. okay, he got it. He got it. He got it. Just for another light. neutral light. Surprised he kept that facing oh. right. Yeah, usually you want the stage underneath it when you're at low healths with gauntlets, so that you can get that extended like horizontal string. Like you want runway with gauntlets. Oh, he Down went down, in deep with that huge commitment there. Especially when, like, recovering back to the platform against Sandstorm has been something that Boomy's had a little bit of trouble with so far. He's going to swap back over to the orb. See the neutral light coming. Oh, no. oh this dunk. Oh, this dunk Weapon is so toss. big. Is he going to be able to get back? He didn't hit oh, the nair. He didn't hit the nair. Oh, he didn't He needed the it. nair to chase dodge up. Sandstorm going to win it in game number four over Boomy. 
to earn his spot in the grand finals. And Boomy now has to await his opponent in the loser's final. Will it be Kosselix or Faison? Man, what a set that was. I swear, every time we see Boomy and Sandstorm fight it out, it's it's always a treat. You're seeing some of the replays from it now. Uh, they played a lot on Apocalypse. How often do we yeah. see that much Apocalypse from North American 1v1 players? Uh, it's it's what happens when they ban out Miami Dome. It's, there was like Brawlhaven, Apocalypse, and I can't quite remember what the third one was, but very often it would be like, no, we're just going to go back to Apocalypse. Um, like you said, though, Boomy Sandstorm, one of my favorite rivalries to watch, and of course it's not over yet. There's still plenty more action. We've got Kostlix and Faison coming up next. Winner will go on to fight Boomy. We'll see what Faison decides to do. Of course, we did see.